friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today is Motivational Monday. Just a second. My lips feel very dry. Oh yeah. Did you guys know, probably know, because I've never told you, maybe I have, that when I first moved to Utah, I like shriveled up like a prune from moving from Massachusetts, from going from this really like moisturous state to a very dry state. Uh, still my skin's not used to it. I go through lotion and gloss and like crazy, crazy. Oh, that feels so much better. Mm. Well, welcome to Motivational Monday where today I tried to motivate you while motivating myself. It's a two way road, really. <laughs> I need some motivation. That's why I started YouTube. And then in turn, it's helped motivate you. So it's a win-win, woohoo! So today I'm cleaning my bedroom and I thought I'd take you guys along. So it's not too bad, I just gotta straighten some things up, make the bed. Um, it's got a little chaotic today, getting ready for the day. I have an ironing board up, clothes. Um, I changed out of a dress that I was in from earlier. And so I've, yeah, and clean up my um, vanity. I've got makeup all over it. So. I just gotta clean up from the crazy morning. So I thought I'm gonna take you guys along with me as I get my room clean. So if you follow Fly Lady, it was zone four and it's the bedroom. So um, my room is decluttered, yay. Even my closet, yay. Every time I go to hang up clothes in my closet, I end up going through my clothes and getting rid of anything. So it's nice. But today I thought, oh, we could dust and um, dust the surfaces clean up and I just yeah so come along with me okay I got my apron on what are you gonna clean today tell me down below what are you working on today I would love to know okay leave it down below and let's get cleaning aprons on let's go where's my sheet blanket that is weird well until I do weekly home blessing there'll be no sheet blanket on I think this blanket shrunk the last time I washed it because it feels smaller you guys know that I'm a full believer there are benefits to making your bed. Well, right now, it this is Sunday. This was yesterday for you guys. And it is almost 5.30. We're about to eat dinner, but I'm, I'm making my bed. It doesn't matter what time, make your bed. It just feels so good. And guess what? It's like woken me up, motivated me to do my night routine. I, there's magic in making your bed. And you're probably wondering why is it 5.30 and you haven't made your bed? Well, we had a lazy morning, we slept in, and then we got up and got ready for church. And I was like, don't make the bed, Derek. Um, I wanna film it for this video. And he's like, okay. And so we didn't make it. So I was like, eh. Cause I thought, oh, this will be a good time for me to talk to you guys. So, but still, it doesn't matter. I've made my bed at seven at night and gone into, <laughs> into it two hours later. There's so many benefits of making your bed. It's so motivating. But in the mornings after Derek is out of the bed, that's when I make it and it just, I don't know what it is, it's like my apron. I put my apron on and I feel like I could conquer the day and that's how I feel when I make my bed. My gosh, I mean, would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? If that doesn't motivate you when you walk by, I don't know what will. I mean, having a made bed is just awesome. Oh, that just makes me feel so good. Seriously, oh, it makes me want to keep cleaning and find something else to do and it makes you want to clean your room. If you have a messy bedroom, especially you teenagers, I, I, I know there's a few there, um, make your bed. If you are overwhelmed with your room, make your bed because it will definitely motivate you to want to clean something because it's just so pretty. So make your bed. All right, on to the next thing in the bedroom. Okay friends, I am gonna start on my side of the room. I have the ironing board here from this morning and last night. So, um, Derek and I went to a party last night and we had to wear all 
white. But we did white with jeans, and there was other people that did that as well. My friend Jordan Page from FunCheaperFree.com invited us to her summer soiree, and it was so fun. We got to see some of our YouTube friends there. We got to meet some amazing people. Um, I got to meet Allison from The Allison Show. Do you guys follow her? Her Insta stories are hilarious. She's super motivating. And um, she just talks about embrace your awesomeness. She's awesome. So did you guys have a good weekend? Like, was your weekend good? What did you do? I wanna know. This was the swag bag from the party last night. There was a lot more stuff in it, but I've already put some of it away. Oh my gosh, can I just show you? In here are these cute moccasins from Freshly Picked. Okay, I'll leave their Instagram and all their info, but you got you gotta go check out Freshly Picked. If I still had little babies, I'd be all over this. Okay, th these are so cute. I'm gonna actually give these to my friend that lives next door. She just had a baby girl, and it's her first baby. And I told her, I said, I got a little something for you. Look how stinking cute these are. Oh my gosh, look at those. Oh, that just, mm. Yeah, and it comes with a little bag, and this is from freshlypick.com. So cute, so I'm gonna give these to my friend. I told her today at church, I said, I got a little something for you. So, that is going over to her house. I'm gonna go put this by my entryway door. Is the camera on? Camera's on! Don't be naughty. Okay, this stuff can go in the office. The stuff that trickled in my room. That is office stuff. So this blanket I got from Costco. A lot of you know that. It is so soft, it's like minky, that minky stuff. Oh, so this is what I sleep with. Derek likes like nothing on him when he sleeps. He like will have just that one blanket that I put on the bed on him and that's it. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I need all the blankets except for the comforter. We don't sleep with that on, but oh my gosh. I'm like, I need everything. I get so cold. It's almost dinner time, guys. I gotta hurry this up. Or I might do a timeout so I could go shove my face. Dinner is going to be amazing. It is Jana's roast, and I've shared this recipe all the time. You guys, get a, a roast, preferably a chuck roast. Put it in your crock pot. Then add a packet of um, brown gravy mix, or if you buy the big Costco tub like I do, three tablespoons of that. Uh, a packet of buttermilk ranch dressing or regular dr dressing mix. Um, if you have the big containers of that, then that's three tablespoons of that as well. And then the zesty Italian seasoning that you make your dressing with. Okay, so use that. Mix it with a half cup of water. Oh my gosh. Pour that over your roast. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let it slow cook. Put it in the morning, let it slow cook for like 10 hours. Or you could do it on high for like four, four to five, just check on the temp. It's like the best roast ever. Like, mouth watering, and I always make it with mashed potatoes. So we have mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts, and I can't wait to eat. Sundays make me hungry. Going to church makes me hungry. This goes in Derek's drawer. Oh, did you hear Derek? It's time to eat. Okay, I'm gonna finish cleaning this mess right here, and then I'll go eat. And I'll come back. Put this doll away. I don't know what Derek is watching out there, but it sounds old, like from the 70s. I think he's watching Star Trek. All right, I'm gonna take a time out and go eat my dinner and I'll be right back because I want this dinner nice and hot. Because you know as moms, how often do you eat with the family? Like I'll notice I'll serve up the family and I'm taking quick bites but then I'm like either cleaning it up or I'll eat it later or I'm not hungry. Now I noticed, I mentioned this before in the vlogs and I've talked to you guys about it and you were like, you guys said the same thing. Sometimes you make this big meal and even you don't eat it, like you don't get hungry. Why is that? I don't know why, but sometimes that's me. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, dinner was delicious. <laughs> I shoved it down my throat. It was so good. I'm full. Let's clean Derek's side of the bed.
Okay, friends, here is my vanity. Uh, all us girls got ready here for church this morning. So I just need to put everything away. During the day, the school day, when I am home and I'm getting myself ready, everything gets put back. So, but this is the sight of a Sunday. <laughs> a three girls hurrying and getting ready. So, time to get this clean. There we go. Okay, this goes underneath on the floor. So I, I hang these tissues for my vanity. And here's all my brushes. They stay here. My other mirror here. So, voila. That's my vanity. All right, so my vanity is cleaned off. Yes, ready for tomorrow when I put my face on. Okay, next is just my dresser. Don't freak out, I'm gonna step on my newly made bed. I should have done this before I made the bed, but I didn't. So I'm gonna hurry and dust this. Well, it feels good to tidy up the room really fast and take long at all and it's clean and yeah it'll feel good to crawl into bed tonight with it all nice and clean and start the week off with a nice fresh clean room so tell me below what are you working on today I want to know if you haven't already click on my face up above to subscribe and check out these videos over here especially that motivational Monday playlist that will give you so much mojo to get something done all right guys thank you for joining me I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great week and we will see you soon. Bye.